Uh, Mitiana Municipality Member of Parliament Honorable Francis Zake is in trouble again. Members, the Honorable Zake came to my constituency and used defamatory words against me that I cannot mention here and I ask that the ICT department There are issues, there are people who haven't seen it that video I wouldn't want to give it prime time I wouldn't want to give it prime time it was... Uh, it was really bad. I wouldn't want to give it time. Yes, Mitiana Municipality Member of Parliament Honorable Francis Zake is in trouble again. Uh, this is after he used abusive language and uh, demeaning remarks to refer to a fellow Member of Parliament, Honorable Juliet Kinyamatama, the Rakai District Woman Member of Parliament. The reason as why I'm asking for that video to be played is because those words, I cannot say them. Let the world see what he said. Why are we covering evil? In a recorded video on Independence Day, while addressing the people of Rakai, Horrible Francis Zake compared Horrible Juliet Kinyamatama to a sex worker at Parliament. In his own words, you have that little member of Parliament called Kinyamatama. She's one of the stupidest people there is. She does nothing at all in Parliament. All she does is uh, stand there like a prostitute. These are the people who are setting us back. Well, those are some of uh, the statements Horrible Francis Zake uh, said in Rakai as he addressed Ugandans that side of the country. So, that is, that is a trivial issue. Parliament cannot be at an NOC one meeting. Parliament, you know, where Parliament uh, the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Thomas Tayewa, referred the matter to the Rules Committee of Parliament, which was given 45 days within which to take action. As per Rule 175 of our Rules of Procedure, uh, Chair and your team, you have up to you have to up to 45 days to respond to this matter. But uh, let's have a look at what some Ugandans are saying about horrible Francis Zake. Uh, this is uh, Musumali Kauka. Zake should be sent to Butabika for medical checkup. He's not normal. Okay, Musumali, there you go. Mukisa Richard, Zake should have to respect other fellow members of parliament. Otherwise, he's not fit to be a member of parliament. Okay, Mukisa Richard, right there. Uh, Richard Onyinge, honestly speaking, Zake lacks respect. How can a horrible speak ill about his fellow colleagues in such a manner? Instead of bringing developments, he's busy assaulting people. Uh, to Mwine Ambrose, this time I'm in support of the speaker to punish Zake, who stands in public and talk nonsense on a fellow member of parliament. Uh, Emma Tukei, Zake is so barbaric, he doesn't deserve to be in parliament. Okay, well, let me wind up with Simon. Jeno Katumba Wamala boxed Zake's head leading to brain damage. Katumba Wamala ya mkubilano ya lia musi. Omutu kwa wakubi omu tuwe na avera under treatment. Temura oza enti yeta agagena kutuiti nga mura oba ina problemu bata ina. Parliament ya kuwa za kati kati ya galo mutu wala muruzi komitu. Waite tuwa rayo ni Katumba Wamala. Katumba Wamala oza enti eno boxing. <laughs> anyway, so it seems everyone this time around wants Honorable Zake to be punished. Yes, the language he used wasn't appropriate, but uh, good enough, the matter has been referred to the Rules Committee of Parliament and uh, they have been given only 45 days to take action and uh, I'll be keeping you posted right here on The Buzz UG. My name is uh, Melads Milo aka Fuller. This is uh, The Buzz UG. Subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Uh, don't forget to also follow me the other side of TikTok. I'm uh, Melads Milo aka Fuller. It is a bye for now. Thank you. Thank you.